Okay, so now we're going to get to the parent section. Uh, before, in the previous slides, we were discussing or speaking directly to the students or the kids. Now I'm speaking to the parents. Um, now, what to do if your child is being bullied? Number one, do not tell them to ignore it or suck it up. Unfortunately, many parents do this. This is not okay. And most likely, if your child has come up to you and complained about bullying, then most likely they've already tried ignoring it. Now they're coming to you because ignoring it doesn't work or, or it has not worked. So you need to keep that in mind. Uh, this is not a good advice to give because it doesn't make the bullying go away. You have to take action. You have to get involved in your child's life. You have to make sure that you stop the bullying from happening. Um, so please do not tell your kids to ignore it or suck it up. Number two, review the school or district policies on bullying and follow the procedures outlined in it. Why is this important? Because if a bullying incident happens and you uh, get called to the school, the first thing the school is going to do is ask you if you followed policy or not. And God forbid if something seriously happens to your child as a result of bullying and you try to take legal action, the first thing the school is going to say, and well, that per th this, uh, this parent didn't follow any of the directions we have listed on our official anti-bullying policy. They didn't take the right steps that we've listed in our booklets. So you know that piece of paper that your kids bring home in the beginning of the year that we just do not look at and sign and just send back? Usually the anti-bullying policy is listed in there on what to do if your child is being bullied. Now, so you need to review that policy and know it inside out. If you don't know, or if you cannot find it in that booklet, you can always call the school and ask them, please provide me with your anti-bullying policy and have it in writing. Tell them to either email it to you or provide some sort of record for you that, you, to, that you're aware that, um, that this was given to you from the school. So either call them, either f first try to find it in the rules booklet. If it's not there, then call the school and ask them to give you the official policy of the school on bullying. What you are supposed to do as a parent if your child tells you that you are you, he or she is being bullied. Uh, number three, inform the school about your concerns right away. Do not wait. As soon as your child comes home and reports bullying, you have to immediately tell the child, you have to immediately tell the school or complain, or complain to the teacher at a minimum and let them know that, hey, your child came home and they said that they were bullied in your classroom. And again, you have to make sure you try to get it uh, recorded uh, so either so after you call this teacher and let the per teacher know, also follow it up with an email and ask them if any action was taken or was it investigated and keep those emails for your own record because that is evidence. Um, now, what happens if the bullying does not stop? Uh, then basically you keep going up the chain. So a lot of parents complain, well, I, you know, we complained to the teacher, she didn't do anything. We complained to the school, we didn't do anything. Well, you can still keep going up the chain. So this here is the official chain that you should go. Um, number one, complain to the teacher in which the, uh, the complain to the class teacher of the classroom in which the incident occurred. Okay, if it doesn't stop there, then talk to the principal of the school if the bullying is still continuing. If the bullying is still continuing and they haven't taken any action, you can go to the superintendent. If bullying still continues, then you can go to the school board. School boards have their meetings every month. You can go there and complain. Um, and if the school board doesn't even do anything, you can go all the way up to the U.S. Department of Education. You can go, you basically, you can go to the government. You can go to the U.S. government and complain that your child is not being taken care of. We have anti-bullying laws in our school. Okay, in the U.S., there are anti-bullying laws for all. Of, there are federal laws and there are state laws. And if you want to review them, please go to our website, ignacyasj.org/stopbullying, and you can find out all the laws for your state there. But generally speaking, there are laws in the country, federal as well as state, that protect the child. In some states, the laws are more strict than the others, but there are laws. And so, so schools have to protect children and they have to take bullying very seriously. So if they are not, you can go all the way up to the U.S. government. And I have the particular department listed here, U.S. Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights and the U.S. Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division. You can go there and make an official complaint that your school, that you, that you talk to the teacher, she didn't, or he didn't do anything. You talk to the principal, they didn't do anything. You talk to the superintendent, they didn't do anything. 
Now, you even spoke to the school board and nothing still has happened and it is still happening. And in that case, the Department of Education will open a, or the or Department of Justice, they will open a inquiry into the school. And because many of these are uh, public schools, they get their funding from the government, it could impact their funding as well. So I'm sure they will take it seriously then. So keep this chart in mind and keep these uh, this chain of command in mind because you may need it. Hopefully you will not, but if you do, you will always have it.